So I have died 212 times in Tarkov and this is what I learned. So I started recording myself and then I actually have all the recordings of me dying 212 times. And then I literally saw every video of them and then see how I died basically. And so as I was watching that video, um, I basically started making a list from top to bottom. For example, I put unlucky here. And that means is that I met, for example, two or three men squad. And I was able to fight the other two if there were three men. But then the last guy were able to kill me and end me. And so, you know, I just call that unlucky. I was really close, but, you know, still unlucky. Oh, come on. And then I actually add die to a hacker three times so far this wipe. He's a hacker dude. And then I got sniped as well on my face 21 times so far this wipe. Hey. And then team confusion, right? It's always going to happen. Your teammates is always gonna just friendly fire you because they're confused and that happened to me five times this wipe. Holy Didn't Actually, tell that I was downstairs. So if you look at three things right here, like hacker, snipe, team confusion, you basically don't even need a gear on this scenario because you're just gonna die without even shooting once or using even your, you know, armor, for example. Like, is it even necessary to have level six armor right there in that scenario, right? Or is it really necessary to have pitogram? Or is it really necessary to have an expensive rig? Or really expensive gun, right? Because these scenarios are the times that you're just gonna get head tapped. It just it's Tarkov. And then down here, Raiders OP, right? They just face tap you if they spot you. And then Scav sometimes just get super lucky and just one taps you as well on your armpits. I don't know how, bro. That's crazy. They got some god aim, but they just one tap you on your armpits or face and stuff like that. And so those are my death. Dying from raiders and scav. Oh, he's in here. First floor. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Got one? Oh, he got me. Second floor? Yeah. They're up on second floor. Oh, he got me. Oh. Take this, you mother. And then, you know, of course, there's gonna be a lot of rat players as well in Tarkov, so I died to them 22 times so far this wipe. Oh, right. oh, Somebody's on the first floor, watch out. I even have an experience of getting stream sniped. I was streaming in Twitch and YouTube, and then I was able to kill one of their friends, and then their friends checked me out, and then basically told um, their friends where I was at, and then they were able to like basically hunt me down afterwards.
Guys, you guys are stream striping. And then these are some moments they don't die. Like I literally have a video I'm gonna show you guys right after this, but they don't die, man. I shoot them on their thorax or head taps, but they just don't die. How is he not what? dead, bro? That is what? crazy. How many bullets is he taking, dude? And then they found me was the ones like, you know, they spot me first while I was running around, for example, and then they were able to kill me. I'm pretty sure there's more numbers for this, but two is the one that was for sure. They definitely found me in this scenario. And then there's going to be bad fights, right? They're going to see you and you're going to see them and you try to face to face fight. But then, you know, 32 games of me is just bad right i guess they're just better aimers than me and so that's how i died 32 times for example right there Holy sh Come on, yeah, i'm still waiting to go in you're dead you're dead somebody killed you oh uh, that's right okay And then map knowledge. So I started learning Streets of Tarkov and uh, Lighthouse this wipe. And there's so many landmines, bro. I don't know why, but dude, I think I died at least 20 times just from landmines and like even like random fires in Streets of Tarkov. It was so weird. But then I started to realize that it wasn't, you know, somebody shooting at me. It was actually a freaking fire that was killing me. That was a scab player that I Oh sh Oh the fire F And then gear knowledge I don't know if I need to talk about this one but let me show you a video and you tell me oh, Come on single fire That is bull man And then not geared is basically you know just not wearing anything and just left in raid and then I basically died because that's basically a moment I could have had a better gun or, you know, had a gun to kill the enemy, but I never had it. And so that's why that's called not geared, I guess. And then scav players, um, scav players will always come in and kill you. And yeah, um, that will happen a lot as well. Хуйло, вот хуйло! Конец тебе! Spawn kill is also a popular one, especially in interchange. If you have a bad spawn, you're just gonna die. You do have to fight the PMCs face to face if you have a bad spawn. But yeah, it's going to happen and that happened to me for seven times so far this way. So as you guys can see, these red stuff that I put on the right side, um, those are stuff that I can't really control, right? Spawn killed, I can't really control that um, unless I just literally prone for 5 minutes and do nothing, I guess. 
Well, I'm not gonna do that for a whole game in Tarkov. I'm like, screw that. We're, we're gonna run around, go find that graphics card, and right? Interchange, for example. It's always gonna happen, and you're always gonna die from getting spawn killed either, or map knowledge, not knowing, stuff like that. So all this red stuff right here is the um, scenario where I didn't basically have to gear up and I will still just die no matter what because enemies spot me first. So if I do the math right here, I basically added all this, right? All the red ones and then when I add them up, it's 107 games. So that's basically half of my games. I didn't really need to had a good armor or you know weapons or a good backpack or rig or helmets even because half of your Tarkov game is just going to be bad 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 you, you won't even have a chance to shoot one bullet maybe even or you're just gonna get spawn killed right stuff like that and this is based on my experience so once again I died 212 times but half of my death was just unlucky death and then the other half is something that maybe you know I can improve on to get better and stuff like that but yeah that's the stuff that I learned um, during my death in Tarkov this way and we can prevent this for example spawning killed you know you just need to practice where you get spawned in interchange for example and just need to know where the other PMC spawns right and then you guys can basically be aware where they spawn and then be more careful I usually know all the interchange spawns and so um, but then that video that, that I just showed you guys in this one, I was just kind of surprised the guy was actually spawned on my left side and then pushing towards me actually instead of just going to the left side or something like that. Scat players, you know, you just avoid them, try to make, try to not make a lot of noise and if they do, they will play aggressively, right? They have nothing to lose. They'll come and get you and be aggressive as they much as they can. And so yeah, just for that one, just try to be play smart and avoid the scav players as much as you can just by being quiet unless you do need the scav kills or whatever not geared definitely gear up guys um it's definitely worth it if once you guys gear up in tarkov um just don't over gear it because half of your death is just gonna be unfortunate and then gear knowledge make sure you know just make change your freaking gun to full auto instead of being single and so that was you know several mistakes right there for me two wipes right there so far on um, this wipe. And then map knowledge. Instead of me actually dying 44 times in real raid, you guys can go practice mode and actually practice the map, right? If you guys have the EOD edition, then you guys can go offline mode and, you know, test things out. Don't be like me, you know, where I just gear up and just die from landmines. And, but, you know, it's just Tarkov. Um, you do you, honestly, like, but the best way to prevent this would be just going offline mode and practice, right? And then the fire, bro. Come on, Tarkov. Like, fix that, bro. I literally died that for, like, three times maybe this weapon. It kind of pissed me off, honestly. Like, I don't know. It's really annoying. And then bad fights, you know, there's always going to be bad fights in Tarkov. So there's nothing much I can do there. Just practice, get good, and no more, you know, knowledge in Tarkov would help me um, prevent this, I think and yeah and then they found me is just unlucky right they'll just find me whenever you guys are just running around and stuff like that so it's just gonna happen there's nothing we can really prevent that just play more careful i guess not running around too much i guess right and then they don't die is basically using a better bullets i don't know what bullets i was using honestly i think it was ps rounds i don't know um but yeah he was not dying though and so yeah that was just bullet difference i guess so make sure you guys use some decent bullets that can penetrate at least level 4 armors. Stream sniped, I definitely changed it to delay 30 seconds now. And so hopefully I still have 30 seconds of do whatever, right? <laughs> Before they hunt me down, I guess. But hopefully it's not going to happen once again. I did got rid of also TTV on my name. So they can't come and find me when I'm streaming. And the rap players, dude. Come on, you guys just make the game no fun, man. You guys are just camping, spawn camping, just waiting for food to come. Like, don't be like that, guys. Come on, just play the game. So there's nothing much we can really prevent that unless, you know, you just throw a random nade and maybe you'll get them. I don't know. And then scav, just being OP. Make sure you guys wear like decent armor. I would say level four armor or above would be good. I think level three is too low because sometimes they have an SKS with PS rounds, right? That will just basically one tap you or stuff if you're just unlucky and so i wouldn't recommend level three armors maybe level four is where it's at especially your f f um forward plate and stuff like that 
And the Raiders are just way too OP right now, I think. I think they need a nerf right now. They just spot you and they just one-tap you, just like you've seen on my Vader right here. I really think they're too OP right now. I don't know. Um, they definitely need a nerf. And then Team Confusion, I think you guys can prevent this by sharing screen and then you guys can have an extra monitor and then check out where your teammate is at and stuff like that. Or just always communicating um, that you're coming to him or something like that. I guess on my video, I didn't really tell him that I was coming back, but I thought he knew. Like he saw me going down there and then I came back out and then he just happened to shoot me after like literally one minute. And so yeah, just communication is really important. Mm, I think map knowledge helps a lot too. So that way when your teammate says, oh, he's over here or over there and so and so, then they will recognize where you at exactly. And so, yeah, I think it's just all about your knowledge in Tarkov 2 would help you with team confusion. And then sniped, getting sniped kind of sucks. You just gotta kind of know where the snipers are hiding, for example, like in woods, just watch out for one of the cliffs. They usually like to snipe up there, right? So they can see everything on the floor and then, yeah, just avoid. Knowing where to avoid, I think is really important. But at the same time, it's always gonna be random, right? It's gonna happen. You're always gonna get sniped somewhere and that happened to me 21 times already in this wipe. So unlucky, right? Like I didn't even get to shoot a single bullet or get, wear my expensive armor or backpack. It's just useless because I just got face tap right there without doing anything. And then hacker, same thing, it sucks when to meet a hacker. That's why I also don't like gearing up. They can actually check you guys out if what gears you guys are wearing. So if I wear like level five armor or above or you know, really good helmet, they'll just come after you and just tap you. Just like on my video, I was wearing a really good helmet with a level three visor and all that's good stuff. And then he just happened to come just come and find me and just one tap me in the face before he peeks, right? And so just watch out for those guys. Don't over gear too much. I think that's really, really important here. And then unlucky is just gonna be unlucky, right? You're gonna find five mans or four mans, three mans. There's always gonna be teammates in the other side. So just buckle up. You're about to fight, you know, 1v5 all alone. And so get ready for that. And that's Tarkov, you know? At least that's the fun part about it in this game is you can literally solo or you can really queue up with the teammates. But there's also downside about, you know, teammates is like they can shoot you back and stuff like that and it can be confusing and so yeah welcome to Tarkov but what I learned so far is like you know of my 212 death half of my death was just unlucky death basically right like if I look at the Raiders OP and Scav OP too I can literally count these in too honestly but I'm just being nice right now and didn't add this in but yeah it's just gonna be unlucky shots that they're gonna shoot you armpits or headshot you're just gonna get one tap still as well from raiders and scabs and so most of your game is just gonna be unlucky so that's why i always tell you guys not to over gear up um you guys just need to know exactly what you need to wear and that's what i do on my youtube video for example right here i tell you guys the best rig and so there's a really good rig um that's literally just 30k and has lots of slots and if you guys didn't know, some rigs actually have some penalties wearing them. You will lose like, you know, movement speed or turning speed or ergonomics as well. But in this video, I tell you guys exactly what's the best rig. And so that's why, you know, this rig is better than this one. And so go check it out. I'm not going to tell you guys anything, even though the picture says it all. But same thing with backpack as well. Um, Wartech is really, really nice. I'm going to tell you that right now but you should definitely check out my video right here. And I'm gonna make more videos like this. I think it's really fun to understand, you know, which backpack or which rig, or even which armor that has like good stuff in it. Half of your death is going to be unlucky, right? You don't even shoot a single bullet. So imagine you had a gun of 60 rounders, for example, and that had M995s in there, which is the most expensive bullet in game. And you can't even buy it. You have to actually find it in raid. And imagine you just dying with it without even shooting a single bullet. It sucks, right? So that's why I brought up with this bullet um, YouTube right here. You can literally just get a half of bullets of N995s and I will teach you guys exactly how I do it in this video. So go check it out if you want to save some money. And that's about it with this video. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys you learned something. If you do so, please like and subscribe so I can have more motivation to make more videos like this one. Okay, and so we'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao for now.